Here is a piece of six inch hose that we're going to pressure test. 400. 450. This is Army surplus hose. And what pressure can it really handle? So normally it is a three to one. So if they say it's a 200 PSI working pressure, that means it should be a 600 burst. Some manufacturers just do a two to one. If it says a 200 working, what does it say for burst? Sometimes they're 400 PSI, sometimes 600. But we're going to see how this hose does. 300. 400. 450. 500. 550. So we learned a few things. First of all, doors with dent kind of easy. It's kind of dumb to do it right in front of the door. But uh, anyhow, so here on this hose, you can see that it's split lengthwise. That is what you want to see. You don't want it to tear off. These cords run lengthwise, and you can see how it tore off the, the ones that go around. <clears throat> A good hose will always split lengthwise. Now, if you're using a drag on a drag hose, if a drag hose tears off, it's going to tear off, just tear apart. That is because you're pulling and the lengthwise cords fail. But here, for a pressure test, we like to see that it splits lengthwise rather than tearing off. Because if you think about the amount of pressure that is on these two ends, it, it's not only pressure going out, but it's also pressure endways. So this hose is rated for a 150 PSI. It's a military hose, so it's, the military spec is 150 PSI working. Our burst pressure on here was right around 600. So that tells us that this hose is, is easily good for 200 PSI because it can handle a 600 burst.